In this video, I will show the easiest way by far to connect your QuickBooks data to Power BI. I've recorded some other videos on this topic, but this is a remastered video showing you the new easiest way to connect your QuickBooks online data. Um, this way allows you to connect to multiple accounts. It comes with a free um, Power BI template which you can install to visualize your QuickBooks data immediately. And the data format is the most convenient on the market. So uh, the first thing you would want to do is to go to this URL, which I will leave uh, in the video description, and you would want to sign up. Uh, so you would want to leave the email that you would actually be using for uh, your portal and you want to verify it. So I will click send code and a new window to uh, enter the verification code will appear. Now I will copy the code from here, from the email and confirm. Now I need to set up my uh, organization name. and I will want to set up my password. Now that you are registered, we just need to sign in. Once you sign in, you will get to this window uh, and you want to go to install. Now, uh, at this point, um, I will explain what's happening on this window. Uh, the connector extracts data from QuickBooks Online API and puts it into an Azure SQL Server database. And you can then connect to Azure SQL Server from Power BI. In this window, you can either enter the details of your Azure SQL Server so we would just need the server name, database, uh, schema, uh, database login and password. But just for simplicity, you can also use the VidiCorp database. In this case, the, uh, your data would flow to the VidiCorp database rather than your own. So if you tick this box and click install, uh, next, you will see that uh, the scripts would create tables inside of your database. And uh, once we connect to QuickBooks Online, the data would flow to those tables. The installation process can take a bit of time, but uh, once the tables are created, you would need to go back to your Install tab. And here I can connect new company. So I will click this button and use my uh, QuickBooks Online account to sign in. After you sign in, you need to select the company you want to connect and click Next. Now, if we go back to the Install tab, uh, we will see that the company has appeared in the table. Uh, you can connect more than one company if you want. Uh, just use the same button for that. Uh, a couple of other points on this menu is uh, uh, that you can click the red cross to revoke access um, from your account to the VidiCorp platform. This would essentially disable your uh, refresh for a particular company, but it would not delete the data from the the database. If you want to delete the data from the database, you can click remove installation and this would uh, remove all the data that um, has been stored in the database so far. Now, if I go to the refresh status menu, uh, I will see this table and uh, this would give me an idea of uh, how my data is loading. So if you can see that some percentages are here, it means that your data is loading. The uh, data has finished loading for some tables already and others are still in progress. 
Now, the data has been loading for a while, so I can now refresh this page to see the updated refresh status. And uh, you can see that some tables have loaded a little bit more, but uh, this data loading process takes a little bit of time uh, when you do it for the first time, because we're syncing uh, all the historical data from the account into the database. Uh, every refresh after this takes a lot less time because we are only updating the most recent data, not the whole data set. I can now see that my data is fully loaded. We have the status of 100% everywhere, so the data is fully ready to use. Now, if I go back to the install tab and there is a blue button there to send database connection string. I will need to press this and you can see that the email is sent to the email which I used to register. I click OK and if I now go back to that email, um, I can see that I've received the connection string, uh, which is server name, database name, uh, schema, username and password. And I also get this template. So I will go ahead and download this. And you can see that it's downloaded the QuickBooks template, which I can use to visualize my data. Now, if I go to Power BI and uh, click on blank report, uh, I will go to file, import Power BI template. And I will select the template which I've just downloaded. Now, upon opening this template, uh, I will get those three fields. So I will go back to the email. I will copy the server name from it. So all the details are now copied across from the email to the template and I will click load. If you're doing it for the first time, Power BI will also ask you to enter your username and password to connect to the database. For me, because I've done this before, I don't have to do this, but uh, uh, you'll get a pop-up window and uh, you can connect to the database using uh, the basic authentication. So you will get a window saying anonymous, basic, organizational, click on basic and enter the username and password, which again, you will find in the email. You will then get a bunch of those pop-up windows and you just want to click run for everything. Again, this is only needed the first time that you uh, are using the template. Uh, later on, during your refreshes, you don't have to do this. So finally, I can start seeing my data populating the template. You can see that uh, Power BI is now loading some rows into uh, my file. And once the data finishes loading, I will get this. So I'm getting a template with uh, uh, my PNL, with uh, my balance sheet, and also uh, the cash flow. So you will get uh, additional description of that uh, template in uh, uh, a link in the description of this video, uh, but yeah, so it, the whole process took me less than 10 minutes of work. I did have to wait for the data to load, but it, you know, it wasn't that difficult. Um, so I will now go ahead and save this template. I will save it in downloads and VD template demo. And I can now use this template later on. Um, so a couple of last words about the connector and the portal. You can try it for free. You don't need to enter payment details to try it out. Uh, you will get a free trial for 14 days. Uh, after this, you would need to go to subscriptions and uh, essentially um, like pay the subscription, which is here. Um, so you probably would be contacted by somebody from Vidicorp team to uh, make sure that you found the connector intuitive, uh, you managed to set it up and uh, um, 
yeah, if you want to use it for more than 14 working days, then we would essentially require a subscription for that. So I hope that you found this video useful and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.